the following manufacturer's directions and make for the make and model you're using. This instruction is based again on this Testo 417. So you turn the instrument on, uh, you push this uh, on off button right here, hold it a minute, you'll see the display come on. And it's reading right now in feet per minute and temperature 76.2 degrees Fahrenheit on the bottom uh, numeric display. To do the deep dive setup, this hold button on the top left hand corner, you press and hold that and that takes you to a sub menu. And the first thing you're going to see is the sub menu called F Fact and you want that turned off. You toggle through the on off with this center button so that's on that's off that's where we want it so let's toggle to the next item on the menu and we're going to get area this is uh, your input if you want to input the square inches of open area on your return grill and automatically calculate CFM we're not going to use that so we've got that set at a very minimal uh, the lowest setting so we don't get confused reading CFM uh, instead of feet per minute. We toggle to the next K fact that is the area factor for the return grill so if uh, if you have a return grill that only has 50 percent open area you would set the K fact at 0.5 for 50 percent open area. We toggle to if you can't read that that says auto off and we want that on to conserve our batteries we it'll time out and turn itself off in case you forget and leave it on. Then we toggle to units. You can again use the the volume center key here and toggle through the different units of measurement. We're using feet per minute so it's got FPM flashing and that's what we want. Then we toggle to reset. If you want to reset this to factory settings and start all over then you would toggle this up to yes. We don't want to do that. We want no so we're going to toggle on through. So. That's your sub menu and we're back to the main screen with feet per minute and the temperature of Fahrenheit. Uh, so to turn the, you turn the unit on and when you're going to do your, your measurement and you'll see the this particular screen, make sure your hold min max don't appear on the display. That's where you take a measurement and hold it or a minimum measurement, maximum measurement and that's this hold min max button you can see. Uh, hold came up, min came up, max came up. You don't want any of those on when you're taking your, your measurement. Uh, you press the mean button twice until you get four digits across the top. So here's the mean button, bottom one. Press it twice. I've got four digits across the top. You'll see a little clock face and, and mean typed out there. And that means you're in the right screen to take a timed, this is the top one's a timer, uh, a timed traverse where it averages uh, your readings across the entire grill face. So we're, we're ready to do that and the way you start your traverse is if this little drawing here where our return grill, we'll look at a, a real grill in a minute, but this little red drawing, I would place this instrument in the corner of the open area. And the open area, you have a, a flange on the outside of your return grill but the open area are where these slots are so we, we want to measure uh, the face of the open area and we want to take our reading over the open area so I would place the vein inside the open area and I'm going to have it one inch off the top of the face of the grill so I'm going to use my finger uh, my finger first joints about an inch there and I'm going to use that as an offset to keep that one inch off the face of that grill. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to let the uh, vane spin up to full speed so I can see that on this uh, display here. You see it's running about three, two, three hundred, four hundred feet per minute and I'm going to traverse this grill something along these lines. I'm going to use my fingers as one inch offsets and I'm going to start traversing this grill and I'm going to keep the vane in the open face area and I'm going to overlap as minimum as possible and I'm going to traverse this grill. I want to move at four seconds per foot, linear foot or slower to give time for the, the 
little vein there to speed up and slow down and take our measurement. Now when I do this, I'm going to hold it in the corner. I'm going to let this vein get up to full speed and I'm going to press the timer. And if you'll notice, the timer will start timing and as we traverse, it's going to time our traverse. And then as soon as uh, we get finished traversing, we're going to hit the timer again. The timer stops. We can push this mean button one more time and it's going to give us our average feet per minute for that traverse. We push the on off button or the mean button again twice that erases that brings up for a new reading so now we can start over. So now we'll go over to uh, a real grill and do a real traverse. And okay so here's our real grill. You notice I've got the uh, timer set uh, you'll see that we do have some air velocity in front of this grill. I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to use my fingers for a one inch offset. Techniques everything here. I'm going to wait till it gets up to full velocity feet per minute. So we're up to about 230, 240. 30 so we're there so I'm going to start my timer and I'm going to start traversing this grill and I'm going to move about four feet per second you notice the timer running we're at seven seconds drop down keeping it an inch off the face of the grill and trying not to overlap any more than I have to and also not uh, overlapping on the uh, non-open area of this grill so I'm keeping it an inch off. Uh, we're 27, 28 seconds into this traverse. Moving at a steady rate. And when I get to the end, I push my timer again. That stops everything. So now we're at 39 seconds for this traverse. When I push this mean button, then it's going to give me the average feet per minute. So this grill is 327 feet per minute. Typical design is is you don't want anything over 400 feet per minute for a, a return grill. So uh, now we can measure this grill, use the uh, square inches and square feet, and calculate our CFM or input it into our spreadsheet if we have it or our software, and let it calculate the CFM. So let's take uh, let's measure this grill now. small measuring tape here. I'm going to, to start and measure only the open area. So this particular grill is a nominal 16 by 25, but the opening here is 15 and a quarter by 24 and three quarters. So we're going to enter that into our spreadsheet or calculate the square feet and to calculate the square feet we would take the inches times the inches width times height divided by 144 and that's going to give us square feet. 